Welcome back to LUTN. The Chicago Blackhawks extended their losing streak to eight in a row Monday night. They lost two to three in an OT heartbreaker to the Carolina Hurricanes in Raleigh. Despite not getting the win, forward Alex Debrinkit scored a goal and had three shots on goal. And goaltender Cam Ward had a .925 save percentage in front of his former Carolina home crowd. The Hawks are now sitting second to last in the Central Division, and tonight they'll take on division rivals the St. Louis Blues on 7 p.m. on NBC Sports. Another hometown loss, unfortunately. The Bulls dropped one to the Dallas Mavericks Monday night. It was 103-98 Dallas. That was the final score from the United Center. Once again, Zach Levine was Chicago's leading scorer. 26 points in his 41 minutes on the court. The Bulls are looking to improve their 4-10 record tonight in Boston against the Celtics. Looking ahead in the week, they will take on the, the Milwaukee Bucks on Friday. So a big week coming up for the Bulls. And some big news coming on in this Wednesday morning for Bears QB Mitchell Trubisky. Number 10 has been named the NFC Offensive Player of the Week. The news breaks after many critics have called his performance Sunday against the Lions his best yet. Some of his stats from Sunday include 23 connections on 30 pass attempts, 3 TDs, and no interceptions. Mitch and the rest of the Bears have a big upcoming week ahead. They'll take on the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday Night Football in a few days, 7 p.m. NBC, and we'll have a little action on Thanksgiving Day. Lions, Bears from Detroit, 11.30 a.m. next Thursday. And in briefs, the New York Giants squared up against the San Francisco 49ers for this past week's installment of Monday Night Football. 27-23 Giants was the final score from San Fran. Next week's matchup will see the Kansas City Chiefs at the Los Angeles Rams. And turning over to some Lewis sports, we had two Lewis Flyers wins last night. The women's basketball team had a day against Benedictine University. 102-58 was the final. 102 scored by the Lewis Flyers in their home opener. Senior Jessica Kelleher had 26 points on the night. And the men won a nail-biter against Benedictine as well, after the women's win. 86-49 was the final from the Neil Carey. Last night, Kendale, McC Kendale McCollum had an insane night in his flyer debut. 23 points and a record high of 9 assists. So the Bears have a pretty great week coming up, right? Pretty great. I mean, they're going to get a lot of TV coverage, which is really cool, but they do, do, did get the short end of the stick. So they'll play Sunday night. Um, really cool, they'll be on Sunday night football. But they have to turn around and play Thursday morning. On Thanksgiving, which, crazy. you know, usually in the NFL, you usually have about a week recovery. Mm -hmm. Now they have, what, three days to recover, so. But that Thanksgiving game will be good. It will be. The Lions, and right? and I think, yeah, it'll be against the Lions, so hopefully they can keep it, keep up the winning and, yeah. you know, stay atop the NFC North. Sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah.